Hey everyone, it's David Bergman here for Adorama TV. Listen, we're in this crazy time right now and a lot of us are inside, we're quarantined, we're in isolation. Hopefully we're, we have people with us, maybe we're alone, but here's the thing. We at Adorama believe it's important to create no matter what, right? We've been using that hashtag, create no matter what. Um, of course, if you're on the front lines, if you're working, I totally understand. We thank you for your service. Um, we need you to keep doing what you're doing. But if you have the time and you're a creative person, especially you photographers out there, here's the thing. I believe it's super important that we document what we're doing and this and during this time in our lives, right? So in my former life, I was a photojournalist. I worked at the Miami Herald. I was a staff photographer at the newspaper and uh, I learned how to document the world around me. I had never really done that um, in my when I was growing up and then all of a sudden now I was thrown into the middle of this uh, all kinds of crazy situations, news events, and I had to learn to document these things. So here's the thing. There are journalists out there now documenting the big stories. Of course, they're in the hospitals and they're, they're doing what needs to be done. They're risking their own lives and we thank them for that. But those of us who are stuck at home, we can also document our surroundings. Here's the thing. Think about if you anything you know about your great-grandparents' wedding, right? You probably only know it through pictures. You may have seen some old black and white distressed photos, and that's really all you know about it. Pictures, photography is the, one of the best ways to pass down history, and this moment in time is historical. We're gonna be telling our kids about this generations from now, they're gonna to wanna to know what happened and they're gonna to wanna to see your family and your friends are gonna to wanna to see it through your eyes. So go out there and document your life. Now, you if you live in a city, like I live in New York City, and so um, I actually did go out once just to take some pictures. I wore a mask. I was very, very careful. I didn't come anywhere near people, but I walked around a little bit just to document my world that I'm so used to seeing every day. And if you look through some of these pictures, it's a little crazy, right? So walking down Central Park South, hotels that are normally bustling and the street is usually super crowded. There was almost no one out. It says something now, the hope sign is empty, right? And it's a little quiet. Hopefully we're gonna bring hope back and there will be, uh, we'll be back out there again soon. But for now, we've all gotta stay in. So. Obvious things like signs, if you, if you, there are signs that say COVID-19, stay home, and then in the background you can see everything's really quiet. Times Square was desolate. It was really, really quiet out in Times Square. Um, Central Park, that this conservatory booth usually has a person in there staffing it, and there are people waiting to get maps. Columbus Circle, there were no cars, almost no cars driving by. The occasional guy on a bicycle would go right in the middle of the street, which normally they'd get killed if they did that. So, um, And obvious things like signs on the drugstore, where they're only letting 10 people at a time, and we've never seen anything like that before. It's, it's, it seems crazy. So I went out and photographed all that. But here's the thing, even if you don't live in a city like New York, obviously don't go outside if you don't have to. Um, in your own home, in your wherever you, your environment, you can document too. If you have loved ones who are staying at home and working from home, you can document that. If you are homeschooling your kids, if you are just sitting around more than you usually are in your pajamas watching TV, make self-portraits, do whatever you can to document. I love the homeschooling thing because so many people are home with their kids. Make portraits of your kids. Do the things that you never had the time to do before and really show what your life is like. What's important to you, I want you to pass down. I want you to document it and pass that down through generations. So let me see the pictures you're making. Let me see how you're documenting your life. When you post pictures, post them on Instagram if you want and um, make sure you tag, create no, you hashtag create no matter what, also hashtag Adorama and tag me at David Bergman. That way I will see them, I'll comment when I can and maybe on a future live show, maybe next week, we'll go live and I'll pull up some of them and I will talk about what you guys are doing and uh, put, uh, pick out some of the best ones that I like. So listen, it's important, this is important to document Obviously, if you have other things going on, you're working, you know, do what you have to do. But as a photographer, stay creative, stay active, keep that mind going, do what you can to make interesting, unique photographs so you can show future generations what our lives were like during this crazy time. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, there's a whole bunch of other Create No Matter What content from Adorama. I hope you'll follow all of that. I'll see you soon. We'll, uh, we'll talk about pictures and uh, stay safe, stay inside, and we'll get through this.